Joining us now from the Free Speech Unithan Union is Jonathan Ailing. And Jonathan, I got your release yesterday about IRD. And could I say the first thing I did was check the date on it, and I thought maybe it was an April Fool's joke that I'd missed. <laughs> um, just for those who weren't listening at 7 o'clock this morning on the show, just recap what has happened here. Uh, earlier, uh, at the end of last year, rather, uh, IRD proceeded with putting period products in, in all bathrooms and in, in, in their employees' premises because, of course... Uh, in, in, and when you say all bathrooms, you see, most people would have presumed that's all women's bathrooms because they're the people... No, no, I, I mean all bathrooms. Right. Okay. Because, uh, because of course, Sean, on, only... only bigots and dinosaurs would, would suggest that putting period products in men's bathrooms uh, doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. And, and, and uh, th 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 this, this uh, was curious to, to some employees at IRD. There's an internal forum called IR Women. Uh, IR that was, Woman. I am woman or IR Woman? IR woman, uh, Internal Revenue woman, a, a forum where women that work for the Internal Revenue uh, uh, Department there can can talk about issues that are affecting. Uh, Jonathan, women. I want to clarify here though: is that biological woman or people who identify as women? I would imagine the, the, the latter. That's not a case that we've worked on at the moment. We, okay. I, I haven't interacted with any transgender woman in, in that space or seen anyone, or any transgender woman in that space. But, but I would certainly imagine, based on the, the story we're discussing now, that they would be welcome there. Uh, a woman called Christine Massoff uh, said that, uh, uh, someone who's, who's campaigned for quite some time for pe free period products, said that this was a fantastic decision, that it was great that uh, period products were free now. Uh, just a little ironic that now that men can menstruate, suddenly it happens. And, and, and look, we'll, 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 we'll own this. It's a, it's a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek comment saying, hey, look, isn't this referencing kind of the basic sexist nature of the fact that we, for, 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 forever in a day, women have had uh, periods and have used period products. And, uh, and yet it is only in a very recent shift that, uh, that biological men may now be able to menstruate. And, uh, and now suddenly we, are, we, we, we have um, period products available for them for free. She was this kind of being sarcastic though, wasn't she, Jonathan? Uh, look, it was a tongue-in-cheek comment, yes, and and, yeah. and and we should have been taken as such. Uh, look, if, if if this is the sort of uh, comment that is considered harassment or or okay, so no, hang on, let's just slow down. So she makes that comment in the women's or identifies as a woman IR woman uh, forum, and, and what do I, Inland Revenue do about it? They take offence at her being ironic. She, she got sent quite a stern. Uh, disciplinary letter. And, and then, look, Christine contacted me the, the Friday afternoon before Christmas. Yep. And so our team were just shutting up and I, uh, I, I said, look, uh, this sounds like an interesting case. Send us through the material you have on it and we'll have a look. And as I read that letter, I, my, I had to pick my, my jaw off the, draw, uh, off the floor. It, it, it was just incredible. The, the hubris uh, that that uh, the employer has there to try and dictate how people look to communicate in a space that is dedicated for women to discuss women's issues, All and right. they said uh, that this was this was an entirely unacceptable comment, uh, and and that if if she had opinions that she thought may in any way be offensive to others, she needed to be silent and keep them to herself. Oh, that's and, bloody and, funny and, to others, actually, Jonathan. The, the, the direct instruction to self-censor, to me, is it, just astounding, uh, especially given the fact that uh, up until very recently, telling a woman how to speak or think about women's issues was the, was the definition of a misogynist. Mansplaining. And yet, and, 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 and yet you blink, Sean, and our cultural context shifts. And now suddenly, uh, a, a woman speaking out her perspective, and, and, and certainly not, not a hostile or an aggressive or an offensive way. Uh, at best, you could say this was mildly sarcastic. And, and, and yet, uh, this is enough now to say, look, if you do this again, we're going to be having a serious conversation about your conduct in the so workplace. So she's laid a PG against them for this, an employment claim. She, she, 
That, that's correct. So she approached us and said, I, I don't feel like this is right. And we said, well, you shouldn't. It isn't right. Uh, employers do not have the right to dictate how you, how you discuss issues like this in a place that is dedicated for discussions of, yeah. of this kind. And, uh, and, and we uh, supported her in acquiring uh, uh, legal support and, and, and counsel there. And, uh, and, and that has proceeded to getting a personal grievance claim uh, submitted. Now, look, Sean, we didn't jump straight to that. We contacted IR, first of all. Yeah, because I was going to say, surely they've just backed down and said that was silly of us. Well, uh, on the contrary, they've doubled down. We no. contacted them... But but uh, we contacted them before the uh, the PG and and said, look, we want to have a conversation about this. Look, we don't think this is right, and 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 we think uh, there needs to be a space to address this. And they said we are unwilling to uh, participate in any mediation on this issue. And so we've been left with no other choice but to go to the. They wouldn't even authority. go to mediation. This is PC gone mad, Jonathan. <laughs> This is like me and Wellington, the problem I'm having with Wellington Hospital with my Muslim surgeon at the moment. Sean, their letter, their letter in response to us was, was, was uh, hilarious if it wasn't true. Uh, it, was, it was the most, you know, uh, the, the greatest comics can't come up with irony like this. They said that because they are an inclusive workplace and that tolerance is at the heart of how they operate, they are going to have to exclude Christine because of her perspective in the name of inclusivity. Exclude her you, from you, what? You, uh, well, uh, it's re- threaten to, if she continues to operate in this way, exclude her from, from continuing to work with them. And, and well, take they are threatening reaction. to fire her. Hang on, hang on. They're threatening to fire her. They're threatening disciplinary action, which which would you, you could easily insinuate. You need to uh, injunct them on this. This is madness. Well, well, we we, we think uh, absolutely that is the case, and the fact that they refuse to uh, to participate in mediation is not going to play well in front of the ERA. I don't think. Okay, when does the case go before the ERA? Look, we, we submitted this uh, last week. We gave IR a week uh, discretion to, to, to come up with any response. They refused to acknowledge the claim, uh, the, the PG uh, and haven't made any comments on it. Oh, we wow. gave them a week and, and, and now we're going, well, we'll talk about it publicly and they'll have to face yeah, well, the music can, can you, you can't please just ignore keep, a PG. keep us up to date. Can I ask you, have you had any other interest from any of the mainstream incredibly trustworthy media? I'll let you answer that, Sean. What do you think? You're, no, kidding, you're kidding not. me. You put out this yesterday. This story screamed at me. Interesting, oh, worthwhile, no, 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 reflective no, no, no of the world we're living in. No you, one. You would think that in, in, in a cost of living crisis, you would think that our department dedicated to revenue has better things to do than to uh, harass their yeah. staff over opinions in a social media chat. Wow. And, and, and look, Sean, uh, the, the comments that we have received on this from, from the TRAs out there is that clearly uh, making a sarcastic or a potentially interpreted sarcastic comment uh, is, is harassing uh, the transgender community. Look, I don't think... It, uh, look, the other thing lead- is, though, Jonathan, in terms of the news, mainstream media ignoring it, this story has got so many other angles. I cannot find another government department or business that ha- I've, apparently some schools, though I haven't identified them, that have period products in, in boys' bathrooms, in men's male bathrooms. So that's kind of absolutely weird. Their refusal to negotiate with you is absolutely weird.